Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to JMC Creates. My name is Jack McKissick and today we are going to make this card. I made this card using Spellbinder's small die of the month, January 24, called Sitting Pretty. And then it gives you examples of how to put them together on the back. I have also used I can't find it now. This die here to cut out my piece came from. Oh, there it's there. Came from Die Cut Essentials 47. So that's how old that is. So the colours came from the background. Okay, this is one of my um, backgrounds that I made for the what photo paper and the food colouring with the baby wipes. This is one of the backgrounds and I took my colours from it and it was an A5 piece so I got two out of it. So this is three and three quarters by five and three eighths, I think. And uh, I have no idea what size that one is. But what I did was I put all my images on here. This is a waffle flower grip mat. And I coloured them using... Peacock Feather, Salvage Patina, Rustic Wilderness, Cracked Pistachio, Shaded Lilac, Villainous Potion and Seedless Preserves. That's that set. And the other set I used was Wilted Violet, Saltwater Taffy, Crackling Campfire, Festive Berries, Squeezed Lemonade, Lumberjack Pallad and Gathered Twigs and I don't have an Oxide in a brown which is why I used, that's only one I had so I just used it so basically what we're going to do is find the greens and we're going to start with the leaves okay so we're going to start with cracked pistachio and we're going completely over our leaf so we are okay and it doesn't take that long to colour them this is a brand new grip mat and it's not sticking so well at the minute but it's holding it enough for me to do what I need to do. And you could just cut this from coloured card, but I wanted some shading, etc. So I cut it from white card, and I'm using my inks then to do a bit of shading now this is the this is the rustic wilderness then that I'm using just to give it a bit of shading I don't want I don't want too much I just want a little light bit of shading in certain areas like in there and in there okay right so that's our greens done what are we going to do next right shaded lilac we'll do our shaded lilac and we did it on one of these pieces here this is juicier because I don't use it as much 
and we're doing it on this one as well okay then we're going to take and I'd have a different a darker brush and I'm going to just do that to add a bit of shading okay that was with the seedless preserves and now I am coming in with villainous potion just at the very base okay to give my flower some depth and dimension right so that's that done oh yes I did one of the birds so I have to do one of the birds in seedless preserves I did a bird in seedless preserves like that and then I did the outline and villainous potion just like that okay and then I'm taking just a little bit and going in there okay uh, that's not covered enough for me okay so that's that bird done right that's the purples and the greens so now we're going in with salvage patina and we're doing we're doing no we're not doing that we're doing the bird that's what we're doing in salvage patina and then peacock feathers for the outer bit okay and then just in there you want to put a little bit of peacock feathers okay right so now we are going on to the pinks and we've got salt water taffy and we're going to do this flower and we're going to do this flower okay like that okay. and then I am taking the first of berries I don't think I used that lumberjack plaid I'm not sure I'm taking the first of berries and I'm going in there like that and I'm going oh no it's not that I want to go I want to go up there to get that a bit darker okay and you can go back in with that to smooth out that blend okay so that's the pinks done so for the berries I did I did lumberjack plaid I did use it I did lumberjack plaid on these bits okay and then I went in with the gathered twigs and did that to the stem to give it a bit of colour okay so uh, oh I did that wrong oh well we'll do it the other way around this time then so these here should have been lumberjack plaid and that there should have been crackling campfire but we're going to do it the other way around this time so let's find our crackling campfire and just do this that is very juicy mm -hmm. right so and finally to finish it all 
I need to, oh no, I have another. I need the, these bits in yellow for the center of that flower and these. And the final bit then is the gathered twigs on the noses. Okay, so gathered twigs up there on the little noses and that's all our colouring done. So I shall go and take it all apart, clean it up and return. Okay, so I forgot to and I'd started putting everything together. So I did. So I shall I just put the little yellow bit on there. Okay, and then that flower is going to go on that stem there, on the shorter one. Okay, and on these, you simply do this. And these fit on, they, they have a specific way. Of going like that and then you pop a little in the middle and you put your yellow bit in and that's that done right all you have this is basic you just put the outline on top of that there and I stuck a little bit of black card on for the eyes and I'm going to put the noses on now so let me see or beaks you have to put the beaks on like that okay right so then for this flower here we are going to put this bit on top of there but we're going to pop it up I think I didn't pop the last one up but I'm going to try this one popped up and see how it looks you know that way you can decide for yourself which version you prefer okay So there is, there, oh, stick, yeah. there is this bit here and I think it's supposed to go in there but when I put my birds in there and it hides it so I thought what's the point so I didn't use that bit. So the next thing I'm going to do is put my birds in. And I'm just putting a little bit of glue along the bottom. Put them together where you want them. And stick your flower on top. Okay. Right. And then this bit is going in behind them. So. How far up do I want this? Like that not that far up nope just a little bit like that so just a little bit up okay like that there and then that is going to sit on there like that and that is our three sections all ready to rock and roll. Right, so I've got this. Where's my card piece? I've got this already done and I have my usual 
eight and a quarter by five and three quarters scored at four and one eighth card base. Okay. And I told you the size of the purple bit. I think it's three and three quarters by five and three eighths. And then the bit in the middle is die cut. So this is going on first. And I want to place it. Right. So I want to... I want to put this on flat. Just make sure I get glue on as much as possible, but and just place that in the center like that. Okay, and press her down and she's good to go. Right, so that's that. Then I popped this one up, just adding a few foam squares onto it. And as many bits as I can fit them on to support it. Okay. So this is one of the cards then that I have made with the backgrounds. I have made some others. Ugh. This has come off. It's stuck to my fingers. I have made some others. And but I'm going to make some more before I show you them all. Oh, come on, hold. Stick on there, yeah. Right, how long? Forget that one. Let's get another one. Don't be a miser, Jaggy. Right. And then that is going on there. Right. That. I don't want that bloody bit sticking down before I stick this down. Okay, so we're leaving that in a minute for I haven't 100% decided what I'm doing with that. What sentiment I'm using in this one? I found that sentiment, another one in my little stash. Hello, Riley. So I just put it on because it seemed to fit. Here, right now. Riley's 13 now and he's very nervous about jumping up whenever there are things sitting in his way. So I have to remove them. And also Fluffy is on the windowsill and Riley and Fluffy don't get along because Fluffy is only three. And, and chases Riley wants to play but Riley doesn't really want to be asked to be honest he's a little bit too old so this is this is a little dish that I found that sentiment in and I'm hoping I can find another one 
you deserve a beautiful day would that fit oh no that's not no the bee's not stamped right okay you can't can't do that there's a green one would that work you deserve a beautiful day that would work the hairy chest right so then I want to put one of these on here then to support that while I put some on this other one to support it I'm not going to put a big massive pile on I don't know how many I need do I need another one? no I don't need another one that's me that's good to go we'll just stick a little glue on there ok and put on that there get out look a bit of that get out you dirty beastie there we go so there we go that is our card made with Spellbinders Small Die of the Month for January 24. Please thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to grow my little channel. It's taken forever. So the more you do your thumbs up and comments, the more chance I have of growing a little. So thank you all for stopping by. It's much appreciated. I hope you are all safe and well. And until the next time, take you out.